Hi everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. My name is Jacopo, front-end developer at Nosto and today I'm going to teach you how to use the Nosto default template that comes alongside with a subscription of a new Nosto account in order to make it natively integrated on your e-commerce platform. So, let's start. Um, today I'm going to use it as a um, test website, my Magento uh, platform, where I've just installed Nosto. That I can see here, as a fir uh, the first slot in the front page I, ca I, I can see is this recommendations for you, uh, with five products per row and the discounted price, pretty visible and everything very good. But I want to apply to this slot, this style of this other slot I, ha I can see here underneath, most popular right now with a Palatino font, very fashionable, and an anthracite gray color, seven products per row, and the discounted price not visible. Can I do this? Yes, for sure. So how do I do that? There you go. We, first of all, we connect to our uh, Nostra account, and from the dashboard, uh, on the left side menu, we click on on-site, then recommendation. The first page we, we, we can see is the overview of all the recommendation slot that Nosto has placed in my e-commerce platform. Uh, here I can see either they are active or not, and all the most relevant information regarding the slot, how is it performing, and so on. First of all, let's have a rapid look at the templates page. Here, in this page, I can see all the templates that I have um, in my Nost account. So this one is the, is the one I got um, with the subscription. And I also have created a backup of it, just for being sure. Better safe than sorry. How did I do that? By clicking Copy as New. Very easy. Okay, let's open the template and analyze it a little bit. Here, um, from the first overview of the properties, I have different set of property. The first one is called display. The, in this first tab, we can decide all the, the relevant uh, visual aspect of the slot, such as how many products I can see per row, uh, the max width of the slot, uh, all the paddings around it, uh, the image format I'm going to show if the, the slot has a um, border bottom uh, underneath the header, uh, how thick it is, and so on. All the properties are written in English and they are self-explanatory. Scrolling, uh, scrolling down a little bit more, I can see the color step with all the colors related for all the elements on that slot. So the heading, the product uh, background, the product brand, the original price tag, and so on. Scrolling again, fonts tab. Here I can decide all the fonts uh, and all the sizes and all the font weight for the elements and the typos present on the slot. Again, there is a mobile tab uh, where I can decide how many pro products I'm going, uh, I, can, I will show on mobile view. Uh, either uh, the mobile view is activated or not and when is the first and the second breakpoint fired. Last but not least, the ribbon tab. What is a ribbon? A ribbon is a um, visual graphic label that is applied on a featured product if the product present, um, respect a feature that we can uh, choose by switching on or off these uh, switches here. So for example, um, I want to show all the most bought um, products. I want to show a ribbon on the most bought products. So I will just activate the ribbon and I will just activate the logic most bought on by choosing something um, some catchy um, label type of it. I decide in this case top and I will uh, deactivate the other one just because I don't want to apply too many ribbons to the same slot. Okay, now let's, let's go to the practical part of it. I want to apply, I want to edit the slot that is called recommendations for you and apply the same thing. Let's analyze this a little bit. We said Palatino, Linotype, um, a five, th uh, five pixel thick uh, header bottom, seven products per row, and everything else is Palatino, and the font uh, and the prices are font weight bold. There you go. I, I click here on the recommendations tab. And here I click on the slot that is called recommendations for you that has an ID front page NOSTO1. 
From this view, I can see all the information related to the slot. So the recommendation title, um, the div ID, whether it is enabled or not, the minimum amount of products that are shown and the max amount of products that are shown. And most important, where is this located and the logic of the slot. Here I can choose which template I'm going to apply it. Yes, Magento default is the one I want to do. And here I'm going to decide all the properties for the slot. So we said seven products per row. And here I also have to tweak like this as a seven, as a max amount of products shown in the slot. And another bot bottom of five pixel, as we said, no container border. We don't show the old price, as we said, and the buy button, and we show the heading text aligned to the center. We don't show the brand name. All the colors are 444444. Four, 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 four. Again, here on the Fonts tab, decide for the Palatino font type. And the price text and the font weight for the price text is bold. If you don't select anything for the price text, uh, for the font weight for any typo, it will fall back on a normal font weight. Everything is fine here. Four products I want on mobile, the mobile view is switched on, and the two, breaks point, the two right breakpoints are in place. The ribbon, in my case, is switched off. So no matter what, I, what is switched on or off here. Save it. And now let's see how this lot looks on my website. There you go. We have two slots look alike. Should you have further questions, visit our support center at support.noso.com or drop us a line at support.noso.com.